Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Um, I'm bringing you another update on one of my Venus flytraps here. Um, actually, this is uh, many of my Venus flytraps. This was a Walmart Venus flytrap rescue um, that I rescued, I want to say this was back in July, um, probably mid-July, so I've had these for about three months now. Uh, these plants have definitely seen some ups and downs, um, and today I'm bringing you my most recent update. Uh, before we go through a dormancy period and I think I'm gonna put these through dormancy um, at least two of them and I'm gonna keep one of them out uh, just as a test we'll talk about that here a little bit more in a minute but um, real quick guys uh, I'm bringing you this update to one of my Venus flight traps and I really appreciate you being here um, I got lots of different carnivorous plats that I like bringing you updates and showing you different types of content uh, if you could subscribe to my channel, it means the world to me. Uh, my goal is actually to open up a carnivorous plant nursery someday. And uh, you subscribing to my channel, um, you liking my video, sharing any of this content, is just a, a form of supporting me in that dream. So thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for subscribing or liking or sharing or uh, just watching this video. So, um, but anyway, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys sort of what this plant has gone through to get to this point. Um, and I'll cut this real quick. Okay, so there you go. So now you can kind of see uh, this plant hasn't always been super healthy. It went through a really rocky period um, where I actually thought it, it might die. Um, but really what it was doing, it was just trying to get acclimated to its new uh, conditions. Um, but it really, it really took it pretty rough. Um, these pretty much all died all the way back, um, as you can see from that video. And now they're all starting to grow back really strong. Um, I think one of the big turning points right now is that I, I have this guy in, in as much sun as possible here in the Northwest, but there's just not, uh, on some days there's just not a lot of sun. Um, when I first got this right in the middle of the summertime, it was super hot, super dry, um, but then it kind of drastically changed into fall. Now we're getting some really cold temperature, and I think what happened is, is the turning point is I got a new Vipar Spectre grow light. And uh, ever since I've been keeping these guys under the light for, um, I, I, I'd had an acclimation period, so for about a week they were only getting like five to eight hours a day. Um, but now that they're fully acclimated to the light, I'm giving them about uh, anywhere from 10 to 13 hours a day of, of light um, from my Vipar Spectre 300 watt grow light. Um, and actually, before this video is over, I'll take you guys into my grow room real quick with my grow shelf and kind of show you what the conditions that they're under. Um, so you can kind of see exactly how they're growing and where they're growing. But uh, you can see they're a lot more healthy now than they were. I um, really like the, uh, the lashes on that one. That one's got some really nice, pretty long lashes. These ones have uh, really long lashes. These ones you can see coming from the side here. Oh, there's a little, little fly right there. Um, you can see the lashes on these are really cool. These are growing back significantly different than when they started. You can see from earlier, these ones had a lot of red um, and they really don't, don't even look like the same type of fly trap that they did from when I first got them. However, I do think with these guys being under the grow lights, they're going to start getting a lot more red. Um, you can see even this one right here um, is a good example. You can see it's really starting to get some red in there in the trap head. Uh, this one is, and I think that's just purely from being under the grow light. Um, you can see even the, some of that new growth right there is starting to come out a little red. Um, and I know that typically with, with the more powerful grow lights, um, the more light that you give them, the more red that these fly traps get. So I think that these are gonna start turning from this green color, definitely to more of that red color. Um, as they get more of that light. But the thing is, is I am going to be, um, I think I'm gonna keep one of these out. I have some Venus fly traps that I got from Lowe's that are really thriving in there right now with the grow light. I'm gonna keep one of those out and I'm gonna put them through a dormancy period. Or I'm sorry, I'm not going to put them through a dormancy period. I think I'm gonna take one of these guys out of this and I'm going to keep them also out of dormancy. And then I'll put the other two into dormancy. Um, this is just kind of a test. I wanna see what happens. Uh, there's been a lot of new um, information coming out about Venus flytraps. A lot of growers are, are trying some different things. 
and a lot of people are having a lot of success with keeping the plants out of dormancy and I just want to kind of give it a shot. Uh, I know a lot of people will say that it'll kill the plant but I think as people are learning how to control the lights and give them the right amount of light uh, it's actually given on their plants a lot better chance to survive year after year. Now the, the argument is is it that plant that survived or is it the new plants coming from the original plant that's actually the ones that are surviving after not get going through a dormancy and that's one of the things I'll be looking at and testing so if I do lose a couple of plants that's my fault um, I'll know not to do it again but at this point I just really would like to have some uh, Venus flytraps hanging out year round so we'll be testing that out but um, I've been keeping a little bit of water in here um, usually about a quarter to a half inch not much wait for it to completely dry out and then I'll put a little bit more water in there and now that it's it's colder outside and we're having kind of more winter type weather uh, I'm not having to put nearly as much water in there as I was during the summertime um, and these are staying super moist I feel these every day to make sure that they're not dried out um, and they're staying nice and nice and moist with a little bit of water just in the bottom so that's going really well um, I got a silica sand uh, peat moss and uh, perlite soil mix uh, that I mixed myself there's a video in the description that shows you how I did that uh, if you're lazy like some people and like me sometimes there is a link in the description where you guys can buy some um, Venus flytrap soil mix. Uh, there's also uh, a link in there where you guys can uh, buy your own Venus flytrap and, and maybe grow your own. So, um, One question I do have for the comments, I had this come up and this actually started around the same time that I you started doing the grow lights and I don't know if this is because of the acclimation period but if you see this trap right here it bent backwards, I don't know if you can see that, see how it bent all the way backwards right there kind of a weird and then I had another one let me see if the other one is still like that oh, oh yeah here it is right here you see that one right there is bent let's put this around here so you can see it see how it's bent backwards like that um now I know most people are probably going to say that it wasn't used to the grow lights but I had another Venus flytrap that I wasn't putting under the grow lights have a couple of of um leaves do that same thing bend completely backwards I did a little bit of research online and I wasn't able to find anything uh, super clear on what might make a fly trap do that. Um, not all of them are doing it. You can see most of them aren't doing that. They, they seem to be fine, but if anybody has any idea why those fly traps are bending backwards like that, I'd be real interested to know um, because I've had some do it that are under the grow lights and I've had some do it that aren't under grow lights. So I'm not really sure what the, what the for sure reason is why uh, they would bend backwards like that. It's kind of interesting though. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any knowledge as to why a, a fly trap would bend backwards like that, that would be something that I would appreciate a comment on. Um, but yeah, so I want to take you guys into my grow room real quick and I can show you kind of the conditions that they've been under with my grow light. Okay guys, I've made it into the grow room and here's one of the shelves um, that I have some of my plants on. Let me turn on my, my Vipar Spectra light here. More information on this guy in the description too, guys, if you want to check it out, see price and um, what wattage it is. This is a 300 watt, but if you want to see some more information on it, you can check that out. But uh, So yeah, so this is the, let me scoot back here, this is the conditions that they're growing under. Um, I actually probably need to move that just a little bit closer. Um, I think it's at about 30 inches right now. Um, and now that they're fully acclimated, it's been about three weeks, uh, I want to kind of get that a little bit closer because I think it should be closer to around the 20 inch mark. Um, but I'll work on doing that here. In a little bit but yeah so that's the that's the lighting that they're getting um, you can see here's some of my other Venus fly traps uh, you can see the red on these guys um, these are the ones that are from Lowe's and they're just really doing well uh, the pitchers are huge you can see how big compared to my finger there how big these pitchers are and they're just really now that they've got this light on they're turning a really dark deep red color they were before they were just completely green no red um, and now they've got some flower stalks coming up and there's another, there's a Home Depot Venus flytrap that's just kind of gotten started. So my sundews. Um, and I got videos on all these guys, so um, if you subscribe to my channel, check out my different videos. Uh, I got my Nepenthes down here. They have a different grill light. Um, I got this uh, Sansi 36 watt grill light for them just because they don't need the, the harsh light from the Vipar Spectra. Um, then I got my Saracen over here that's not really doing much, but I got a video that I'm going to put out for that guy too. But yeah, so that's kind of my that's kind of my grow area, guys. For right now, I just got a couple of shelves, a humidifier down here for my Nepenthes. Uh, nothing too fancy. I need to get some um, reflective material in here, maybe some saran wrap to help keep some of the, the humidity in for the Nepenthes down there. But uh, yeah, this is the the conditions I have everything grown in. Uh, it's all 
distilled water. It's all artificial light right now with my Vipar Spectra and uh, things are going pretty well. So uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see the updates on all these different plants and some of the different cool stuff I'm doing with them. And uh, thanks for being here and uh, I really appreciate it and I really hope to see you guys again in a future video. Have a good one. Bye.